Hello everyone, I am Leatherwolf and I want to welcome you to my mall. I have been building this place for about a year now, give or take a few months. It's an American style mall, so it's got anchor stores on both on all the ends. So like over here we have a Sears, and this is actually the oldest part of the mall. This is the part that I built, the first building that I actually constructed. So we got that, and then up on the roof, we have some rooftop parking. Haven't completed that yet for the whole entire structure, but that's about what it's going to look like. And I built one of the ramps, which was actually really tedious. I have to build three more of those, and I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> but yeah, we have the Sears department store over here. Over here we've got an AMC Theaters. This was the second building that I constructed. Back here we have the rest of the mall and it ends with the food court here at the end. And then this was an afterthought to build one more anchor store for the end. This one will be a Nordstrom but it is still under construction as you guys can see here. However, I am really proud of the way that the exterior walls turned out. I think it's got a very nice modern look about it. Let's see, and if we head down here, we're on the opposite side now, then we come up to the Macy's. This was the third anchor building. So I built the Sears, the movie theater, and then Macy's right here. And then over here you have JCPenney, which was the last anchor store I built before I decided to add the Nordstrom on. Yep, so we'll go around here. Yeah, if we got some entrances just to the various mall entrances and up here on the front we have a Macy's and an AMC sign so that people know those are here if they come in from this end of the mall. There will be a parking lot eventually, I just haven't, I'm not to that point yet. But anyway, now we'll go on inside. We have a nice big entryway right here. And I put in pressure plates on the doors so that you can just walk right in rather than open and close them. I've done about half of the stores so far. Some are real, some are Minecraft chains, and some are invented by me. So yeah, we got a Wilson's Leather Store, and I don't think they actually have retail stores anymore, but I'm pretty happy with how this one came out. Yep. Here's one I invented, Emerald City. That'll be a clothing store. This is a Minecraft chain. Anyone who's familiar with Corrales on YouTube will know this one. Sokar's Redstone Outlet. And for an outlet, I made it a big deal. It takes up three floors here in this main mall section. Yep. And then we got a bank over here. Bank of Mine Block come back here and flip the secret lever and you get in the safe. Look at all that money, all that cheddar. So we come back out here into the main mall concourse. We got some escalators and an elevator tower right there. They don't function. My redstone knowledge is extremely limited so they're just for looks. And we got a jewelry store, Nolly Jewelers. It is actually named after somebody I know, but it's not um, something I'm going to go into right now. It's a rather complicated story. But as we continue down here in the Sears wing, we have another Corrales chain, Red White Sofas. And this will be nothing but a couch store. And we have rivers going all the way down along here. 
Rico Shoe Department. I have a buddy whose nickname is Rico. There's a couple of stores in here that are named after him. Over here we have another Corrales chain. Crazy Kips Pool Hall. And there will be pool tables underneath all of these lights in here. And then we have another Minecraft chain I invented, Netherite Armor Outlet. They'll sell nothing but Netherite. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> then we got a store called Renaissance that will just sell armor. And we got some mushrooms in here for some reason. Just get rid of those. Whoops, I'll fix that later. And that brings us to the interior mall entrance of my Sears store. And it's probably a little fancier than your average Sears, especially since the company's not really around anymore. But I got the elevated ceilings that a lot of the early 2000s, 90s built stores had. And you got the bank of escalators that go all the way up to the roof. And you got the second floor, the red poster craftsman, craftsman tools. That's this will be the hardware section over here. Let's see, we got another floor. Management offices are over th in that area in that room there. And we got the bathrooms over here for this store. Yep, this is the ladies' room. Oh boy. If yep, now we're in the right one. Guess I never put up any signs. And this store also has an attached auto center, just like other Sears stores do. But because we're on the second floor, we're going to come in through the storeroom. The loading docks are just outside, those are the bay doors. And if we come through here, this will be the auto center. I haven't built any lifts yet or anything, but I will. I haven't actually put really any furniture of any type in any of these mall buildings just yet. Yep, so that's the Sears. Now we'll head back out into the main mall corridor here. I put in a lot of fountains in this mall. I'm pretty proud of them. My friend, uh, my friend Steven put all the fish in there. <laughs> yeah, we got lots of fountains, lots of green in this mall, lots of live plants. Oh, and here's another Corrales chain, Second Hand Paradise. This will be a store that just sells a bunch of used junk. <laughs> that one, that one's gonna be fun to decorate. Yep, and we got a few more. There's a bakery store that sells nothing but fences right here. Store for trunks. Uh, and then we have a real life chain there, box lunch. And there's a loud truck outside. A couple of shoe stores I invented, and then right here, American Hawk. A bigger and fancier clothing store. Oh, and this store over here. Amazing Pally is a guy that I used to play Grand Theft Auto with quite a lot, but he hasn't been on in years, uh, and, he has, and his character wore a gray sweatshirt, so this will be a store that sells gray sweatshirts. And then this is actually based on a real life store. People who live in uh, Phil Philadelphia, no not Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, will know this one. It used to be at the Century 3 Mall in West Mifflin, which is now abandoned, but they've since moved to the waterfront.
but that's one of my nods to several abandoned malls because I'm weird and I'm into that culture. Let's see, oh, and this right here, Stranger Things fans will love this. Scoops Ahoy ice cream shop. Gotta have this in here. If you're not familiar with it, it's from Stranger Things season three. It's where Steve and Robin worked. Got a few more stores over here. This is when I ran out of ideas the first time. Artificial winter. This store's just gonna sell ice and other things like that. Ice, snow, whatever. Yeah, we got a gaming store. A few bookstores. There's gonna be too many bookstores in this mall, but that's just really easy to make. Verizon Wireless. Yeah, there's gonna be some cell phone stores. <laughs> And then this store I'm really proud of. This is going to be a movie rental store. You don't see those anymore, but this came out really well. It's got a really big 90s feel in it with the floors and the color and everything. Yep, so we'll continue our way down here to another very well-known Minecraft mall chain, Sips Company Dirt Outlet quality dirt at dirt cheap prices and if we come in here the ceiling is dirt and this store is one of their flagship locations so it takes up three floors in the mall and then I saw these light designs another uh, minecraft builder did these and I liked it so I tried it out in here Over here we got some more, another couple real life chains. We got a Foot Locker, a Lid Store, got a Famous Footwear. This is another store where I was got fancy with the lighting. And then we got a Zales. And that's just one, that's just the front portions of the building. I haven't even gotten to the right side over there yet. And then the entire ceiling is glass, so there's a lot of natural light. And then this is the center court, big tall fountain right here. This was fun to build. I didn't have a plan, I just started playing around and this is what it came out to look like. Over there we got Macy's. Come in the second floor entrance here. And we got some nice escalator banks here that go up to the rooftop parking. Got management offices back there. This will be a sunglasses hut because apparently they're in some sort of some Macy's sometimes. Either that or it'll be a, like a Toys R Us since those are in Macy's stores now. Let's see, we got the storeroom the loading docks down there and then if we come back here we got some offices and an employee break room got a sink refrigerator bathroom back there everything it would need yep, and now we'll just make our way back out to the main mall Well, before we do that, we're going to go in the movie theater. I'm really proud of how the auditoriums turned out. Yeah, I'm for, there's only four, four auditoriums. I would love to have made more, but I built it a little too close to the Sears. But these are the movie auditoriums. We got nice big screens. We'll have chairs on all these levels. And you got the projector booths up there. Yep, and underneath the theater there is some parking so I made some escalators that go down here because there won't be any rooftop parking for the movie theater. We got some bats flying around which is unfortunate. Yep, so we'll 
Come back out here. We got a few more stores. Cell phone store. And then I have a nod here to the half abandoned, half not Fredericktown Mall in uh, Frederick, Maryland. Lalo's Pizza. I tried my. I probably could have done better, but I think I got pretty close with the design of this place. So we got that. We got an Apple store over here. Let's see, what was that? This was the store will sell nothing but terracotta and Forever 25. And this is a nice big store, fancy ceilings. Not a huge back room, but it's at least long. Yeah, we got a few more stores. This will be an art gallery right here. Got a lot of spaces for where all the paintings are going to be. Plank Ink, yes, this is a chain that I invented. Your one stop shop for wood planks. That's all this store is going to sell, just the different types of planks. And here's another Corrales chain, Wool Ink. Going to sell nothing but wool for all of your wool needs, whether it be carpet, walls like that. You never know. And here's a nod to what was once the most famous abandoned mall in America, Rolling Acres Mall. Yeah, we have Pretzel Time. It was one of the stores in the lower level of that mall, over when the Sears used to be, if you're familiar with it. And then on this third level, we have Seven Guys Burgers and Fries, and I think this came out really great. In real life, Five Guys is one of my favorite places to get a burger, so I had to put it in the mall. Yep, we got a Hot Topic since I already put in a box lunch store, another bookstore, and this is another mod to the Fredericktown Mall, Joey's One Dollar Store, Carpet Store, oh and I forgot to point out this one, this will be a barbecue restaurant, I think I captured the essence pretty well, Let's see did I miss anything over here? Radio Shed, spin on Radio Shack. More cell phone stores. Then this is actually my real life barber shop, Blade and Beard Co. So I put them in here. And if we go back down here towards the main entrance, there's a couple more places I want to show. Right here we have Randy's Pizzeria. This will be a pizza restaurant. Uh, had a little bit of fun with the windows up there. Yeah, this will be a record shop. And then we'll have a Master Cuts that I think came out pretty good. Use that lighting again. Yep, and now we'll head back down here towards the end. You got Sears there, JCPenney down that way. There aren't any stores down there yet, though. Fly over the center court, get a nice look at that fountain again. Macy's in the background. Yep. That green store is going to be a game store. Called it Game Start. No affiliation to GameStop. Yep, we got the Nordstrom, and then this is the food court area. I've only put in one eatery so far, but there will be some on both sides under here. And we got another elevator tower. This one goes all the way up to the roof, unlike the one at the front of the building. This parking, the roof parking isn't ready yet, but everything else is laid out and ready for it. And we'll just take the elevator down to the first floor. It's a real high speed elevator. And we got Nordstrom up ahead, which I showed at the beginning of the video. It's still under construction, so it's not ready just yet. 
but we can look in these display windows. Yeah, I know I'm defying the laws of gravity, but it's Minecraft. Everything floats in midair. Yep, so this is the back of the building. If we go up these stairs over here, then this will take us to the management offices and some restrooms here. Yep, got the men's room here. Ladies' room is about the same layout. And these are the mall management offices. We got another restroom for the people who work in this area. A couple of offices over here. And if we go up this staircase, then we have a multi purpose event room because I couldn't remember what I said this space was going to be when I first made this. So that's what it's going to be. <laughs> and then we have the A. Arnold Conference Room, which is named after somebody I used to know. And this will be the big conference meeting room for the management of the mall. And we're just going to head back downstairs here. This is another rotten nod to the Rolling Acres Mall. We have Eli's Char Grill, one of the last restaurants that was in the food court there before it closed in 2008. And then over on this side, it's basically the same. It's just security offices and up here instead of management, like on that side. But it's not as completed as that side is. And then let me show you how detailed I am, you guys. I built the mall guts, all of the corridors behind every single store. And we got some stairs that go up to the upper levels over here. That takes you back to the main mall. Then we got a shipping, uh, some docks here. That's a big loading bay door. Some helpful signs here. Food court, Nordstrom, and then the movie theaters are down there. Label of the stores back here. And these corridors continue throughout the whole mall. I was very detailed. The only thing I didn't put in was service elevators. Yep, this is the parking underneath the movie theater now. And yeah, this just goes forever. Like I labeled everything, put up helpful signs. Let's see, and then all of these staircases. If you go up to the third floor in these areas, they all have roof access, clearly labeled, right there. So we'll come back out into the main mall now. Just want to show off the JCPenney store a little bit, because it's got a, a unique elevator system. Oh yeah, and then you got these these tree lights that I put in down here. They came out really right. And this is my JCPenney store. Got the nice elevator bank here. Goes up to the rooftop parking like the other anchor stores. And then over here, it was an Arizona mall that had an elevator uh, set up similar to this. I can't quite remember what it was called, but I know it doesn't exist anymore. It was torn down a few couple years ago. But yeah, you got the elevator right here that goes all the way up to the top. And I'm just really proud of it. I think it came out really great. Uh, 
not supposed to be right there. Whoopsie. But yeah, this is my mall, and I'm still having some trouble coming up with a name for it. A few years ago, I tried to build a mall, and I called it Twin Blocks Mall as a reference to Back to the Future, but I lost that one when my old computer crashed, so still working on a name for this place. But this one is a much bigger mall than my last one ever was. And when Sears finally does go under, I'll have a choice to make if I'll keep this one open or if I'll be realistic and close this store down. Got the ramp that goes up to the roof there, the movie theater. Yeah, breaching the food court and then this awesome Nordstrom store when it's done. This is going to look so good. All of those squares up there are going to have lights so it'll have a really cool effect at night time. But yeah, it's been about a year since I started building this, give or take two or three months. This is where it's currently at. It's about, I'd say maybe 65 to 70% completed. Got to finish putting in the stores inside and finish building this anchor. And then it'll just be furnishing, parking lot, and building the ramps up to the rooftop parking. So anyway, that's my mall. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or some suggestions for interior stores, please leave them in the comment section below. We'll just head back to the front of the building here. And yeah, I know I haven't uploaded anything in a long time, and now you guys know why. But thank you very much.